Hi, welcome to FermiCG.net. In this tutorial, we are going to explain about the render layers in Blender. And I have a default scene with three colored cubes. And using the render layer settings, I just want to separate this cube while in rendering. And just notice that I'm just using cycles render and this trick will only work with the cycles render so just use the cycles render and I have some lights here just a simple area light so there is not that much importance for this setup I just show you how the render looks so this is the final rendering uh, pretty simple rendering and if I watch uh, the composite mode you can see now this is our render final render image and there is no extra render layer here if we need more render so just go to the render layer settings and you can find a lot of options here and before jumping to that area I'm going back to my default mode and hiding the render view and here you can see some panels named scene layers so that will be the same for here scene and there is the render layer some exclude layers and mask layer we will show what is these layers first i'm going to separate all this into new scene layers so i have the first cube that is first second third cube all in the first layer so just select the second cube just press M and use it to second layer and select the blue cube and press M and move it to so we there. have three cubes in three separate layers if we want to render this first just using that render image so that will be rendered and if i choose the second one and if i render the image you cannot see any lighting for this and if i choose the third one and render image you cannot see what is happening with this so but if we select both three this is the same for from selecting the scene layer and i render again we can see both the three cubes with the shadow everything is happening and how we are how going to separate this. selected and you can see all the layers 28 render layers are selected simply select the first one and just rename the render layer to whatever you need i just using that to red and i'm just selecting the second one add a new render layer and rename it to green and select the second one and in the third layer select another just rename it to blue and select so we the have third layer. three render layers separate and this is our scene layer so and three separate render layers you can see if I check the second one that is updated here here and if we need we can just select all these three and it's selecting all these three and if I render again just render image this will render out a black hole for uh, wherever the interaction is coming between the layers and you will get three separate render images if I jump back to our composting mode we can choose whichever layer we need blue you can just duplicate that like this and like this just select that to red and just using it to blue or maybe not blue screen and if I use this for compositing so this is our composite and these are our three render layers if we need to add a color node and alpha over node we need just plug uh, this is the first one so I just plug it to the upper area and I need one more thing just in 
uh, output just a viewer node so we can see everything in the backdrop so click that backdrop and just plug this to the image so we can see what is happening and definitely um, how our scene is looking just plug up this into here so you can see now our uh, images are layers are combing but you can see there is a big black drop is happening that is that we will explain later and I also need another alpha hour so press shift D and just use that bit in that and we need to plug our image here also so we have three cubes like this but uh, the problem is we don't have the correct order and this big black is coming just uh, flip this node but still we have that problem so how we are going to get rid of this so that can be done by setting something here I will show you how to set that just we have our three scene layer like this and there is one thing called exclude and mask layer I will show you what is the mask layer is, is that just select out the first that the red layer and um, don't confuse with that just um, forget the scene layer here just look at this layer and mask layer here and you can see now our red is the first layer so we don't need the second and third layer while in the rendering so I'm just skipping selecting that mask layer for that second and third and also in the green layer have that four in the second layer so I just selecting first and third for the mask layer and in the blue we have the third for the render layer so just mask layer for first and second if we render again what we will get is something more interesting okay now we can see our image is automatically fixed to its um, correct order and you can see if I just scroll to zoom you can see now that black area is cut off with the nice alpha option and everything is the same for the scene you can just um, make it in any order and just it is composite and what is the and real use of is that if we want to simply change the color of this green box or just increase the lighting you can simply put another hue saturation node or color node here and just increase that and yes that is possible with uh, just using the render um, passes option and just selecting the ID mask of this object but that is a little bit complex but this is a very easy and handy tool just show you what is how it's done using just use the color and have simple hue saturation value I'm going to black it between this uh, green and green so just plug that here and if you clearly watch you can see the hue value you can simply change the hue value of that green color and see what is happening you can change it to whatever color you want um, maybe something like that saturation or value or bite and up the scene you can increase also increase this value up like this so that is handy for creating this kind of effect and just um, using that one and okay and we are going to experiment with the exclude layer what is that exclude layer so some say we have a reflection plane so that means some logo or maybe a symbol reflection is having on top of that and we need that to be rendered separately without affecting these three so how 
can we do that using that exclude layer so turn back to our default layer and we have this layer and I'm just going to add a plane mesh plane and see we have that in the front view maybe rotate our in the x-axis equal to 90 degree so that will be rotated and see what is happening here is that we have some layer just this width and like this and press it to another render layer and it is will be the fourth one and add another render layer rename um, rename it to plane if and I select all this and just press render image or you'll get that a symbol cube three cutout cubes and a simple cutout plane with all these kind of shadows and everything so just in the composting mode we if we jump back to composting mode uh, and another render layer if I just use that plane we will get something something weird with all this shadow uh, and everything is happening in our render image if I just plug that to another render layer and if I need maybe add color alpha over and simply say I need this image on top of everything so I just want this in top of that simply say that if I need uh, this image on top of that that will be a problem so uh, I'm just saying that if we need that kind of effect uh, without altering the position of uh, this image uh, just use the exclude function so select out plane and that is in the fourth layer and we don't use any mask layer here because uh, we don't need this cutoff we need the plane pure white as it is so I'm just excluding one two three that because first cube second and third layer I am just excluding and if I render again render image we will get something more interesting and we'll have to render just four times okay now you can see our image is on top of that you can simply put any node here just use color hue saturation or RGB curves simply put in between that and simply crank up a little higher you can see now we have our image on top of all this and that is the explanation of what is exclude layer is